Hello leaders, uh, thank you so much uh, for uh, the work that you're doing wherever you are. My name is Samuel Ivanda and uh, uh, I greet you from Uganda. Today I want to share about something that is uh, really uh, disturbed my mind. As you can see in the background, I'm in one of these, uh, uh, one of the classes of our lower schools uh, here in Uganda. And due to COVID, as you can see, uh, these are empty classes and we can't tell when these children will actually come back to study. But the question remains, what is next for our country? What is next for our continent? What is next for the world? The fact that we are seeing uh, things like pandemics coming and disorganizing us. I know uh, some of you here might have children, but the question is, how are you continuously doing education even at home? I want to say that as you can see, these are charts in the background. These are things that our children use to learn while they were at school but it's now getting into a year class uh, for some of us uh, in our countries. And these children are not at school, so what next for them? Uh, it, I just felt like I should share something very small. I think we don't need really to wait for uh, things to really get better. I think we need to uh, change our minds and we need to embrace the reality that we can no longer continuously uh, of course, uh, we, can, we, can, we cannot continue waiting without uh, creating a plan B or an alternative. I know uh, that, uh, of course, the vaccine is coming up, but the question is, are we not in an era where we will be getting more pandemics ahead of us like this one? So the question, or the challenge I have for everyone, is that there are many things that you're doing in your life that may have been sabotaged by the pandemic. Maybe you've lost your job. Uh, maybe you, you had uh, started school or a given course, and let's say you've given up. I want to say to you today that you have to move on. You have to create an alternative, and you have to embrace the alternative. For example, in education, we've seen ourselves uh, uh, seeing technology coming up, and uh, different organizations have embraced technology. So if you were running a school, how are you, can you continuously still support such children from home? How can, how can you embrace technology and employ this into your systems to continue into business? Because you can't tell what tomorrow will be. Will it mean that schools will close? I've seen, uh, for example, in our country, Uganda, many schools have closed and uh, proprietors have changed them into business, other businesses like hotels and other likes. But we all know the value of education. We all know the value of certain things in our lives, King of. So whatever you, uh, we were disorganized because of COVID, because of the pandemic, you have to move on because it happened and we can't tell what will happen next. So we have to find alternatives and we, want, we will have to believe that the alternatives can also pave the way to become uh, the, best of whatever we do, especially for the education of our children. So I was just in this class and I felt I should share this video with everyone. I don't know what uh, the pandemic is still doing in your life, but whatever situation it has created in your life, whatever hole, whatever lemon it has created in your life, let's make the lemonade out of it and let's find alternatives, let's move on. And I believe 2021 will be a better for us. Let's embrace technology. Let's embrace whatever new thing has come. Thank you.